I invited you yesterday to be aware of dreams and uh, we could start by having a learning conversations on dreams and afterwards talking about my way to deal with dreams. Does somebody bring in a dream? The first priority is just night. Do you have one? I have a dream. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wonderful. Are you, you're, you're, I guess, I guess you're, 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 you're open uh, to, to, to talk, talk to me with, about, about it. Uh, give you a, a very, very short, short explanation, explanation as introduction, introduction to how we work. This, this is, is not necessarily talking, talking about, about the content or the process of the dream. dream. It's, it's just, just using the dream as a, as a starting, starting story to find some, some way to be creative with it and find meaning in the, in the style, in, in memory, in telling, telling in dealing, dealing with it, it but, but also comparing the story of the dreams with place on other stages in life. And just, just if we compare that, the, that's the relationship, relationship between these worlds, worlds uh, give, give me, me any meaning. meaning. So, oh. we'll, we'll tell, tell more, more later, later, but this, this is not called, called dream, dream analysis, analysis, but creative, creative dialogue, dialogue using dreams. dreams. So, so, this, this is, is a dream from tonight? From tonight? Yes. <laughs> okay, we, we start by, you just tell the, the dream, dream and then, then yeah, uh, we, we will, will have a meta level, level to talk to each other, how we will deal with it, explain what I try, try to do, mm -hmm. and you find it, you, you please um, find out whether this fits to you, you or not. Is that okay? Wonderful. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, it was a dream where um, my husband and I and our son and a whole lot of other people, maybe you, I don't know, but a whole lot of other people. Whose son? My son. Your son, yeah. We were in quite a large car, like a combi van, um, driving to an apartment that we were selling. Mm -hmm. um, and part of the dream is that I was thinking to myself, I don't know no, when we bought this or how we bought this apartment. Yes. yes. Um, and then, and then only, only my son and I go into the apartment. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's a very strange apartment. apartment. And, and I kept thinking, thinking to myself, how did we buy this? this? Because, because it was strange, strange angles. angles. You know, yeah, there were mm -hmm. uh, corn, very, very sharp corners on the apartment. And long way to get to rooms and around and... But the corners, corners, you know, these sort of yes. almost, almost like, like um, you imagine, imagine on a boat, boat, you know, if you're at, you're at, the, at the point at the end of the boat. Right. Yeah. And along the way, uh, there, there were, were things, things all over the walls, walls that, that seemed, seemed to be protecting, protecting the walls from being, being damaged, damaged. Mm -hmm. because the apartment was being let out, but not not people living in it, people working in it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the people, people working, working in it were like, like um, uh, uh, beauticians, beauticians, you know, uh, people, people who do uh, uh, facials. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Very nice along. And, and so, so beauty salon. Yeah, beauty salon. Yeah. 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 And, and so, so the protections, protections on the walls seem, seem to be to, 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 to stop, stop the walls from being um, made. made Dirty, dirty from, from the, the products, products, you know, like mm -hmm. lots of wax or mm -hmm. you know, whatever the products, products they were using. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking, we will never sell this place. place. <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> I was thinking, if I was looking at it to buy it, this is how it looks. looks. Mm -hmm. It's dreadful. It was, um, you know, it was busy and, and messy and, and not somewhere you think, think about coming to live. Mm -hmm. Then I went downstairs. I don't know what happened to my son. Then I went downstairs. And there were like about... Four, Four salespeople, salespeople who, were who were selling, selling the apartment. apartment. And they, they all knew me. me. And, and I, I couldn't work out how they knew me because they'd never met me before. Mm -hmm. um, and, and downstairs, downstairs was, was quite, quite empty. empty. It was quite, quite a big, big almost, almost like, like a big, big kitchen, kitchen and, and sitting room. room. Mm -hmm. But no, no furniture, furniture in it. Um, mm -hmm. And a beautiful mm -hmm. big, big uh, granite, um, mm -hmm. what do you call it, counter. And that's it. I won't work out. Mm -hmm. But I remember, I remember thinking, thinking, 
How do they know me? I've never met these people. So some people, people who sell houses? Yes. Okay. And I can think, why, why are there so many? There were about four uh, uh, sales people. people. Mm -hmm. And you do not know the these people who are, who are active, active in your dream as well? No, only at the beginning, my husband and my son. So there are only two specified yeah. persons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about on which level to start. To start. Maybe, Maybe we start from the outside, and I need just to uh, get, get acquainted a bit to you how you deal with dreams usually. Mm -hmm. Is it easy for you to remember dreams? Do you often yes. uh, remember dreams, talk about dreams? Uh, no, I don't, I don't talk, talk about them, um, mm -hmm. but I will often, often wake, wake up, up with a vivid memory of a dream. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, immediately that I've woken up, um, I, I will think, wow, that was a vivid dream. dream. Mm -hmm. um, and then and I will forget about that. Today, mm -hmm. when, when I woke, I woke up, up, I've got to remember that. I've got to remember that. Okay, in, in order to? Because of today. Yeah. Because of today. Yeah, because of today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and uh, have you any, any experience with professional, professional uh, um, conversations, conversations on dreams? dreams? No. 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 Okay. And, and you, 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 you never talk about dreams to somebody? On, it's, it's only an no. internal well, no, I say never. Um, I generally would, would unless, unless somebody, somebody said, said, oh, I had, I had a strange, strange dream this morning, morning, and I might say, oh, oh yes, yes, I, I did, did too. too. Okay. It'll be more about the memory of okay. somebody so reminding me. If you somehow feel invited to this level of reality. I tend to have forgotten about it once I get on with what's happened for the day. So, so one thing I usually would, would usually, usually do is a going, going through the dream again, again in, in order, order to find, find out whether I've already understood everything. everything. Maybe, Maybe we, we should do that later, later because, because but but I understood, understood enough uh, to, to work with, to start, start with. with. And <coughs> I want, I want uh, um, to, like to like to start with the, uh, the end, end of the dream. <laughs> In, in Jungian psychology, psychology this is called the, the, the Lucio. So, so what, what was the atmosphere at the end when you woke up? up? And was, was there a tendency how, how is this is going to be? So, so this, this is, is the point, point where the curtain, curtain is closing, closing but the play is going on. on. Mm. So, so what, what you're asking, asking is, did I think, I think there was going, going to be something, something more happening? Or? Uh, not thing. Just, Just what, 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 what was the atmosphere, yeah. Yeah. What, to, to, to what, what was it directed? Um, I felt, I felt a bit confused. And when I woke up, I wondered why... I want to know what's happening next. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that there's that, that sort of confusion, like why did I wake up then? Okay. You had, you had just the impulse to analyze, to understand, understand what, what your dream is about, the yes. situation is about. Well, the feeling was I don't want to wake up now. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Yeah. You, would, you would have liked to, to go continue. on yes. to, to, yes. to find out what, what would happen. Yes. Okay. So, so your, the, the, the orientation, orientation of yourself was to the future. What, what will be next? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would, Would you, you say, say that's, that's, that's uh, uh, is this is uh, uh, familiar to you, that, that you, if something, something is stopping or being interrupted, that you, not look, you do, do not, not look back so much, much but you are, you are oriented, oriented to the future? future? Mm -hmm. that's, that's your style? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I have a single, single question to some, some something I cannot yet um, have, have an Im imagination on my own. Who wrote? Uh, who drove? drove who yes, drove it? Okay. okay. Where did you sit in the car? In the passenger seat. That's the beside. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and your son? son? In the back. And, and the others? others? They were in the back. All on the back. So, so it's a situation. Your husband drives you. Mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
the, the sun, sun is close, close to you, but it's second, second row, row and the other row. Somewhere. And is this car? Um, I, I sometimes, sometimes use, use the a metaphor, metaphor of uh, what, what did the script, script writer think, think when he inserted this, 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 this car in your dream? dream. So, so the, I, don't I don't know the English word Kulisse, Kulisse in German. German. <coughs> what is the word? No, backstage. No, no, that's, 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 that's the material. The setting, the setting, yeah. The setting, so like why did the script writer right, choose right, this? Right, right, right. What did the script writer or the, di the director of your dream uh, might have meant to insert this car? This car. Yeah, well, well, to, to me, me it's um, fun, holidays, mm -hmm. uh, adventure, mm -hmm. you know, it's, um, we don't go camping anymore, but that's like going camping, um, mm -hmm. lots of people. Mm -hmm. And, and if, if you, you do so, so uh, in the dream, your, your husband has a leading, leading role driving, driving the car. Mm -hmm. is, is this reflecting how it is in your life as well? Uh, um, well, well, yes, in some areas it is. Not all, but in some. Yeah. 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 Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, I, I guess, guess you, you, as you said, you... you so the building, building you have, you have dreamt, dreamt about, about is you, you don't, don't know that. that. No, it's, it's not, not <laughs> nothing from, from the other stages, stages of your real life. life. No, but when, when I woke, woke up, up uh, or in the half waking up, up I, kept I kept thinking I knew the building. It was a feeling. feeling. I, I, the feeling was in my awake, awake life, life, I knew I this building. building. Where was it? But I wasn't awake. Uh huh. It, it felt, felt familiar. familiar. It felt very familiar. Okay. So I wondered, um, when, when I did wake up, up I wondered if it's a building I've dreamt about before. Because so, so somehow, somehow it's, it's, it's part of, of your imagery life, life mm -hmm. but you, you, cannot, cannot, you cannot say exactly on which part of your life yeah. should be attributed to. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so I would, I would stop with this question to the dream and Go to the helicopter and mm -hmm. go outside. Um, first, first, I ask you, you did, did you make any meaning of the dream? Have, have you any understanding of what, what, what is, is the story that, that the dream is telling? Um, there was a sense, sense of frustration that I didn't, didn't know about, about this apartment mm -hmm. that we were now selling. Mm -hmm. and, and if I'd, I'd known about, about it, Mm -hmm. We probably wouldn't have bought it because it was a very strange place. <laughs> so there was a sense of frustration um, in the in the relationship, if you like, that yes. that uh, uh, and I'm going to say that that my husband and his brother yes. bought this apartment, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how that just came in, but that, that there's something to do with my um, brother-in-law. That the two of them made the decision on buying this apartment. Okay, so this, this was an assumption during the dream. Yes. Or are you in the assumption right now? No, it wasn't a dream. Okay. So you felt like this is an, uh, is an element in my life that is not of my origin. Exactly. That somebody inserted it. And I, yeah. I'm not sure what I like it. Yeah. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And my, my question, question was, uh, if there is a, a sender to tell you the story as a metaphor about something that might be meaningful to you, do you have any idea what this, uh, the sender wants to tell you about the story? Um, I think there's two parts. That, uh, that I'm seeing the sender mm -hmm. bring. Um, the first is the frustration that that I had no control over it. Yeah. Um, and that it, that it was a strange place and it wasn't selling. So there's this yeah. sense of not just no control, but um, I didn't have an understanding of how they could 
how they could buy this place. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't just control, it was a no understanding. Mm-hmm. I couldn't comprehend how mm-hmm. they could buy it and then expect that it was going to be sold. Mm-hmm. So there's so that part. You, you, you like, like to be in control. control. Well, part of me does, mm-hmm. but the other part loves to, I like to understand and I couldn't mm-hmm. understand. Okay. So I guess that's control too, but it, it was more... Um, a, a complete uh, out of awareness type, yeah. um, you know, not, when you don't know what you don't know type feeling. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the second part of it was when I went downstairs and these people knew me and I didn't know how they would know me. Yeah. Um, so that I, my sense of that the sender was letting me know that um, that sometimes I don't show or don't know who I am, so mm-hmm. um, that I might have an impact that I'm not aware of. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, that's your, your hunch. hunch. Mm-hmm. And, and, and to send off the dream might, by, by <coughs> telling you this story or showing you this dream, uh, draw, draw your, your attention, attention on what, what you can, can be as well, not, not being very much, much conscious of. of. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. and you welcome, welcome this message? message? Yes. yes, a little scary, but yes. yes. Okay. So, so it's an. Uh, now, now I, I also can understand, understand better why, why you wanted to have, have the dream go on. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and and on the one, one hand, uh, being interested in having something, something happen that, that you are not in control, control of, mm-hmm. but still wanting to understand it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so this is a position. Do you know in yes. your life? Oh, yes. Tell me more about that. Um, to what stages, to what uh, roles is that really? Uh, well, uh, I've been reminded of it this, these last few days mm-hmm. with various um, instances that people have given yeah. where um, probably started with Gita uh, having the dialogue with you mm-hmm. where you know you can go into a client and to take a brief mm-hmm. um, and feel that you have to understand everything the client's saying before mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you ask all the questions. Okay. Uh, there's that sense of they've hired the expert, so mm-hmm. you've got to be the expert. Uh, so there's that sense of not understanding mm-hmm. and that feeling of, I guess because we talked about despair yesterday as well, mm-hmm. that feeling of I've got no idea what they're talking about, but I've got to look and act like I do. Um, okay. and, and find out because they've hired me and they think that I can do this job. Okay. So, there's, you know, there's been a sense of that in many roles within my big role. So, in my big role, I'm quite happy. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, the dream may reflect your, your, uh, your position in trying to understand and judging how much you have to understand or not understand and... If, if there's, there's something new and you're not in control, controlling, not, not even controlling, controlling it by understanding mm-hmm. fully, how, how you, you feel then? Mm-hmm. Who you are then? Could easily be, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and what you say is, is in, 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 in my main roles and main roles, I'm, I'm quite, quite certain. certain. Mm. And, and this, this is a... Uh, an area, area. And, and very often in dreams, um, parts of the ego are, are represented by houses. So maybe I was <laughs> together with all these people, and and your your husband even uh, was ready to drive you there. <laughs> in reality, would you think he would welcome? Uh, he would agree if he knows that this is the area she. She should deal with, with he would drive, drive you there? He would assume that I already deal with it, so yes, he would drive me there. Oh, yes. he's welcoming that. Yeah. This, this is kind of uh, stepping into an area where you're not so certain in your roles. Mm. And you learn something new and get curious and, yeah. and relate to ways of, of reality that cannot easily be put into a frame of understanding. Mm. You would welcome that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What's it amusing you? Um, it, it amuses me because he, um, in terms of welcoming it, he he would um, 
be flabbergasted that I didn't understand. He would what? Uh, what's another word? Um, surprised. He would be surprised that I didn't understand. Oh. In, you know, a newness or something. He, he'd be quite... He knows you are understanding everything? He thinks I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... And he, he will welcome if, if you come to limits where there are areas this uh, kind of organizing yourself or as he is perceiving you, it's not all you are. That's right. Oh, and, and you, you like, like it as well that this is not all you are? Yeah. Okay. So, so, so somehow the screen might uh, uh, reflect uh, the experiences you have here mm -hmm. and how you try to relate it to your understanding of reality in the rest of, of your world mm -hmm. and in the rest of who you understand who you are. I think so. Yeah. Mm. And it's, it's interesting that the, the first floor, it looks somehow, you, you don't like it. It's a kind of beauty saloon. Walls have to be protected, not to be get dirty from this chemical stuff or so. So uh, the entrance, uh, later on in the, in the Cellar floor, or how, how did you call that? The downstairs. The downstairs floor, it was different. Mm -hmm. so they are, Spacious. They are yeah, very different. Very different spaces in the, mm -hmm. in the same part, uh, in the same building, which might indicate parts of your personality. Mm -hmm. But, um, okay. Uh, your first reaction would have been, uh, as, as I am a shit, oh, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. It was inserted from into my life by people I'm related to, but mm -hmm. I would not have agreed if they have asked yeah. me yeah. what's going on here is strange, mm -hmm. even in structures mm -hmm. and in equipments. And what the, the business, business people do there? Is, is, the, is the business? How, what is no, your attitude? It was a home. It was an apartment. Yeah, yeah but, but they, they did a business, a uh, beauty business. Yes, yeah. in, well, in one room anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And what, what is your attitude to this kind of business? What, what is that in yes. life? This yeah, kind it's of fine. business. It's uh, <laughs> the, the business as, as it is fine. Yeah. Maybe not in this room. It was weird. It, it was, was odd. weird. Yeah. Okay. It was yeah. odd that it would be in. And, yeah. and your first reaction is a bit disgust? Annoyance. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. um, does this reflect um, uh, a reflection you have from time to time in your life when you come into something new? Mm -hmm. that yes. You do not yes. understand at once? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How, how came that you? Uh, went through this part and finally went downstairs. I do not remember. How was this put in the play on, on the stage that you decided to go downstairs? Or have you been invited to? Or how, no, why, why did you go there? Um, I'm not sure. I can remember coming back from that beauty salon and realizing that's why the walls were covered mm -hmm. um, to going down the stairs. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I just went down the stairs. Perhaps Spontaneously, yeah, just yeah. because there is, yeah. there is something stairs, you just stairs, yeah. you just detect, you, you, you step mm -hmm. into it, and then you go on to find out what's there. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Is this um, what you also do in life often, that after a phase of un being annoyed, uh, yeah. this reflects yeah. also yeah. part of your style? Keep going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> Step in. I'm hearing. I'm feeling that stepping into the unknown. Yes. I will. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So mm -hmm. there's also a curious part mm -hmm. in your. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you have any understanding what you meet downstairs? It was. Uh, Four salespeople. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you thought about oh, uh, how could we get sold this house? It might be a problem. And then you you meet four professional sellers. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Do you have any idea what the script writer thought when he wrote a story like this? <laughs> well, right now I'm thinking it would need four people to sell it. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, no, uh, 
why would this group go to put four people? And why were they all downstairs? I'm not sure. Um, it was certainly overkill. You know, there were too many. Yeah. Um, normally, in Australia, you'd have one. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that's true for other countries too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was such a big room. It, 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 it's almost like they had to fill the room. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's a lot of potentiality there yeah, it was that is not yet, not yet <laughs> filled. In the in the first floor there was a, a lot of actuality yeah, yeah. which didn't fit much, yeah. and down there was a lot of poten potentiality mm. to be filled. Yes, yes, because it was empty other than this beautiful granite uh, top okay. bench, uh, and then these four people. Yeah. I didn't get to the fourth. I woke up before I got to that person. But as I was going along... Yeah. Yeah, when, what, what, what kind of equipment is this bench? You say it's beautiful? Somehow it's, it's not annoying you? It's, no, no, it's, 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 it's uh, beautiful. It was uh, beautiful. On the opposite, it's... I would say, what, what is your reaction to this yeah, uh, part um, of the equipment? It was smooth and shiny and a beautiful piece of granite. Mm -hmm. So very beautiful to look at, to touch, you know, cool to touch. That's a different Smooth. kind of beauty. Yes, yes. That's not the beauty. <laughs> the one you, upstairs, you, yeah. paint, you paint on it and you have to protect <laughs> walls against uh, yeah. side effects. That's uh, a kind of more eternal material. Solid, um, solid, very solid. And still beautiful. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you, in, in, in the other worlds of your life, do, do you have any, uh, is there any relationship with this equipment? Do, do you know this from somewhere or is it associated with something in your life? Um, I've had granite bench tops myself in homes. Yes. Um, I admire them. Wherever I see them, I admire them. I, I associate them with... Um, Oh, like a strength, uh, you know, something really solid mm -hmm. um, is my association, you know, that it's solid and it's still solid of beauty. And something, an old, you know, there's an, you know, there's a... Have old, like long a, rules, as a, yes. some kind of eternal quality. Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And it's yours. Mm. Also, you didn't, you, you think you haven't been involved in buying it. Mm. How do you feel about that? I'm quite happy about that one. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe men are sometimes wiser as you expect. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> And you are wise enough uh, to, uh, to leave them the, the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There are four, four more. That could be your partner oh, because they, they they somehow belong to this mm. to this place. Yes, and um, and and the, the room is uh, is saying it's not yet equipped. Mm. It's a lot of potential. Potential. Mm. And and you stepped into a room in which many more things could fill in. And I guess you, uh, if if you have to decide, it, you will take care that they fit to this precious. Bench. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. And it might take time. Um, I give you some ideas about Jungian ideas. Mm. Uh, psychology, you can check whether they make meaning to you for uh, how the, the dream is made. One I did already, the meaning of houses, mm. very often. It's not always. And it's very often that when you, <coughs> as in fairy tales, all of a sudden you find a door and find there are new rooms in, in your house that you, that you didn't expect, you start exploring. Mm. So you come to more parts of your personality that you had expected. And sometimes in order to do that, you have to go <laughs> against the rule somebody told you. This is not in your dream. Mm. Mm. But uh, so, so, so the motifs have, might have a relationship to, to classical symbols mm. mm -hmm. of that. 
And uh, or, do you know the notion about <coughs> animus and anima? Animus is a male part of the soul, and anima is a female part of right. the soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, if you look from this perspective on your dream, uh, then there is a good balance. You you leave a driver seat to your husband, and he is, uh, and 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 you have chosen a car, or your soul has chosen a car, not only to be with, with your husband and your son, but also with people, for example, people like here, who are also on a journey, mm -hmm. discovering more than they had up to now. Mm -hmm. um, so, it looks like a, a good relationship between male part and female part. And uh, if you look at it from the perspective of um, uh, sub, how do you say that in English? Um, understanding everything as projecting you. So your husband and your son, from this perspective, is not your husband out there or your son out there, mm -hmm. but the parts of your soul mm -hmm. which are represented right. by your husband and right. your son. Mm -hmm. And from this perspective, it would be interesting to 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 see how is the cooperation relationship between your husband and you and we, we don't have to go into that now mm. but it's just to give you a perspective on that mm. and in uh, in Jungian psychology it relates also to the Jewish uh, um, symbols of numbers and if there are four it usually that is directing to an, a wholeness, four directions, and the close. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from a, in the practical sense, it might be overkill, four. Mm -hmm. But from a symbolic understanding, it might say uh, it's it's a male quality standing for wholeness, mm. and they are already there where you step into. Mm. And and be astonished that there is a, a new a new part that you might want to integrate as yours to understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is me. Mm. Also, so and from this uh, sometimes there comes a, the ambivalent feeling like it's new, and somehow I know it. It's familiar to me. Mm. This is the reaction of the soul saying, it's new to your ego, it's not new to your soul. Mm. This is a piece of explanation. Mm. Mm. How, how do you react on that? Um, it's quite interesting because <clears throat> part of me felt, I think as I said, this building isn't new. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd, I felt like I knew the building. Yeah. Um, and in my half awakeness, half sleeping, yes. um, I was struggling to know where I knew it. Yes. Um, so that resonates quite well with that thought of, mm -hmm. I know this place. Yes. Um, and even later when I was, you know, awake and up, yeah. I kept thinking, I've been there before. <laughs> you know, so uh, that, that sense of knowingness. Yeah. Sure. Um, the, the four, the number four was quite intriguing. Uh-huh. Um, uh, in terms of the four salespeople, because I kept thinking, why four? I, I thought mm. about why four. Yeah. You know, I wasn't right. just observing there were four. I was in my dream thinking, why are there so many? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Symbolically thought, uh, this, 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 this union interpretation of uh, it's, it's saying, if there are four, <coughs> it's not yet one. It's not yet individualized. Mm. It's more kind of quality. <coughs> Mm. And also, um, if there are not s separate phases on these people, that's more. Uh, they have to become individual, <laughs> becoming phases, and maybe one in s at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, so you might be on your way of integrating a new understanding of another male part of your soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Such an ex explanation is this something that inspires you, makes you interested, or yes, yeah, yes, 
Okay. Yes, it, it, it intrigues me, um, mm -hmm. as does the process of what we've been doing in the last couple of days that, mm -hmm. and where it will go, you know. So mm -hmm. my sense um, in making meaning of that is, is precisely that, because mm -hmm. as I was walking here, I was thinking, so where do we take this? What do we do with it? You mm -hmm. know, they were the questions that I was... I did uh, ask, have there also been moments here when you reacted, oh, who bought this? <laughs> and how strange, <laughs> what, um, what strange angel, a, a angles do we have here? Well, uh, in, some, in some areas, at yeah. some levels, definitely. <laughs> in some of the theory, um, mm -hmm. uh, how did you get there? Mm -hmm. um, how do people get to those, you know? And how uh, could... Yeah, how do you keep writing? Or, and how could we sell this? Like, and then how could we sell this, <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> and then in terms of, at, at a more, um, uh, for me, obvious level, you know, the sorts of things like now, well, what? how did Rosemary get to commission that piece? Um, oh, okay. What made you buy that? Yeah. yeah so, th so at different levels, I, I do do that. Okay, yeah. so the so, so yeah. dream is... It's maybe it's reflecting your the experiences of your ego and of your soul and, and, and meeting these two. Yes, maybe. And and in and then even in myself is what do I do mm -hmm. when I go home? You know, how do I mm. sell uh, this? Yeah, how do I sell this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. I had a sense that um <clears throat> The marks on the walls um, where we had dinner, there was a mark on the wall, mm -hmm. and I had a sense that maybe I just had too much chocolate for dinner. That was, <laughs> <laughs> it was a big paint mark on the wall. That was a huge painting, mm. which I. Uh, this was it in your dream? Uh, no. No, no. No. Where was that? This was where we had dinner. Oh, uh, okay. In a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes things come together, yeah. and you get the pictures get from it all mixed in. several stages, yeah. and you put them together, and together they have meaning. Yeah. Also, they do not, in the rational sense, they do not fit together. No. <coughs> and I kept looking at the paintings at dinner because uh, I paint as well, mm -hmm. and uh, so I was interested, you know, in uh, big, big paintings, and uh, oh. so I, I kept looking at them as well. Okay. So, yeah. Oh. Maybe this room down, downstairs is, uh, has also room for more paintings of you. No, there was lots of room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. mm -hmm. So, it seems quite reasonable how this dream mm. reflected the uh, adventure mm -hmm. you have here. Uh, <clears throat> if we take other stages from your private life or your professional life or the, your organizational life, if there would be other connections between these stories and things <coughs> you experience there, what would, would be the relationships? Um, new ventures, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, whenever I've entered new, not just going to a client and finding new, um, mm -hmm. a new client, but, but bigger than that, uh, going into new types of businesses. Mm -hmm. um, There would always be that uh, anxiety, I suppose. That, mm -hmm. Is this the right thing to do? Is mm. this is um, uh, well? If I think of it, one business in particular, you know, that was a bit of a mess, quite a mess actually. You know, and that thought of oh boy, should we buy this? Shouldn't we? You know, that that okay. sort of that sort of thing, and then and then really going with that potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So, could, could it be, uh, when I look at the dream, you didn't react with anxiety, you reacted with being annoyed. Annoyed, yeah. So this could yeah. be kind of wreck a thing, that instead of daring to be insecure... Definitely. It, it is. <laughs> you react annoyed. I do, So yes. next, next time when you react annoyed, you might think of, oh, this might be the reaction on anxiety because I do not know what it's about. Yeah. Also, it's interesting for me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And as you said, uh, it's it's not only doing something in the way you already know, because you, uh, but that you are eager to come to 
other levels, other dimensions while you are working. You may still do the work you always mm. did, but you include more levels. Mm. Beside, and mm -hmm. If you look at this house of the streams of night, have any idea how the first floor might look in ten years? Well, the beauty salon will be gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I keep going back to that pointy bit, but that can be that could be smoothed round. It feels too angular, you know. So. I, that's it can be changed so it, it mm. can be changed and really that was the only I think that initial annoyance mm -hmm. um, was the fact that I didn't know we had it mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, and then I was looking for things to criticize mm -hmm. okay. so I found one mm -hmm. or a couple yeah. um, <clears throat> um, but in turn, but the only bit I would change would be they're quite superficial, actually. Mm. Um, once I've overcome that initial annoyance that I didn't right. have anything to do yeah. with it, the, the it's not dealing with essentials. No. Yeah, and no. you usually know that, or sometimes forget it. I probably sometimes forget it. Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. When I asked you the question, an answer came to, came to my mind. Uh, uh, I, I just had the idea, maybe you could re rearrange conditions on the third floor from the perspective of downstairs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the help of the four, or maybe then three, two, one, mm -hmm. and more women and men, who yeah. are all parts of your female and male personality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like this idea? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. It's not an idea that I would easily think of. What would be the spontaneous idea you would think of? Um, uh, how to change the first floor. Ah, if you if there is Without any mess, you first direct your attention to yeah. mess. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's a spot of energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because there will be messes all over. Exactly. Exactly. And this would be a new pers a new yes. a new order mm. Mm. to approach it. Yes. Oh. Mm. And I'm thinking of your spotlight analogy. Yes. You know, if I spotlight that fabulous mm -hmm. ground floor, or lower floor. Mm -hmm. um, and if we adopt the metaphor that this is the house of your personality, there are uh, there are solid valuables mm. there already. Mm. Yes. Yes. And I hadn't thought of adopting from myself. Mm -hmm. um, I will often think of adopting from someone else mm -hmm. and thinking, well, what would that person do or how okay. would they do it? Mm. Well, maybe you, you overdo this and then you, you too often let the others into the driver's seat. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to, maybe you have to... to uh, to talk from time to time and you who in what direction uh, in, 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 in what way should be in the driver's seat and who in mm. the passenger seat or mm. how it could be mm. changed mm. and cooperated yes. on that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you look, look, look at it from the objective point of view, you, you take this downstairs room and mm -hmm. the people, this is from outside. But if you think, oh no, this is an unrecognized part of me, mm -hmm. then it's easier to feel like, oh, I, I, I can, I can yes. take from my own sources. Yes. And from my own, not yet, as own recognized uh, values, <laughs> mm. valuable. Mm. Definitely. Mm. So somehow we are in a paradox situation when I transfer all these ideas to our relationship, how we talk to each other. <laughs>
because I uh, obviously you you, you uh, accept me to be in the driver's seat in, in our conversation. Yes, yes. And it's a danger that I take too much, I take over too much. Mm -hmm. I see you as a spotlight. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Um, I see you highlighting with your knowledge of mm -hmm. um, your Jungian theories and, mm -hmm. and your experience. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> spotlighting something or directing my attention to something that mm -hmm. I had not gone where I had not gone mm -hmm. so yes that's the driver's seat um, at one level yeah. because you know how to drive yes um, I don't fully feel that you're totally driving me because yeah. it sits it sits well with me mm -hmm. uh, part of me went Oh, I hadn't thought about going downstairs mm -hmm. to to look. Yeah. And yet I know there yeah. is a part of me that knows yes. there is a downstairs. Yeah. So I so remind you on, you've on your own. Me. Yeah. And not mm. not inserting mm -hmm. everything. Maybe I insert some things that you you after some while you find out, oh this is not my own. Mm. But it was a nice offer. You showed me the variety what how it could be. Yes. Yes. And um, while you were talking, I was thinking of other instances where I have, um, um, I've forgotten what we said, but let let someone else do, or not do, but influence. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, that's what we were saying. Letting someone else influence yes. um, when actually I probably knew what to do. Mm -hmm. And I know that I've done that in a, a committee-type mm -hmm. situation where mm -hmm. I've actually been... Um, the president of the organization mm. um, so so I'm hearing what you're saying and and understanding it and then at, at that small moment I rejected it a little bit because I thought no this is a committee mm -hmm. so I can't be a dictator <laughs> well I could be but <laughs> <laughs> not for long <laughs> so um, I'm aware of what you're saying mm -hmm. um, but not totally using it in every situation. So I'm seeing it as a spotlight or as a mm -hmm. driver in some parts yeah. and maybe as a navigator in others. Yeah, and, and maybe some new questions. What is this I want to, uh, I want to have the other person in the driver's seat? Also, maybe we are driving in an area that is my own, but he knows how to drive yeah. or, or shows yeah. me how to drive yeah. or helps me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now we have looked at several levels of possible meaning. I feel like it's enough for right now. How do you feel? Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah. To keep going, I think, would be letting you take the driver's seat completely. <laughs> <laughs> for me, that's, I feel yeah. enough. Yeah, Yeah, and, and the atmosphere in, at the end of the dream, if, if I try to understand what's atmosphere is saying is it's an encounter and there are a lot of potentialities that are not yet defined mm -hmm. that is, but mm -hmm. it's nothing to do right now mm -hmm. it's just to to relate to mm -hmm. to be attentive to mm -hmm. and neither you nor me should push it now yeah yeah yes it was a sense of sitting with that mm -hmm. um, unknown yeah um, and that certainly was the feeling when I woke up of wishing that I could keep dreaming to see what was going to happen. So that <laughs> yeah. that sense of sitting with it is is certainly where it where it ended. Mm. Good. Mm. So we go on a next level of looking at our conversation. How how, how did you feel treated? Treated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, dealt with uh, in our conversation? Uh, very respectfully mm -hmm. um, and uh, I keep thinking of this spotlight but like as you guiding mm -hmm. um, with your knowledge of what what that dream means to me. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, Without analysing it, I guess that's the thing, isn't it? It's like uh, 
uh, yes, I feel I feel like we've had a a really good learning and um, equal from my level yeah. um, uh, conversation mm -hmm. treatment <laughs> situation. Yeah, yeah I, I did. Uh, maybe I used the wrong word. I didn't mean treatment no. in the sense of health treatment, no. but in the sense of how it did I so relate the, to you. The relationship. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so now it's time to for any reaction, questions, comments, observations. It was very uh, interesting to hear in your dream, and I, I thought about Please don't, do not talk to her in, okay. now. She is, she is out, she can listen, but she doesn't yeah. have to, not to be a dress yeah. We talk about it. Interesting. Uh, I think this silence is because it was impressing mm -hmm. uh, and warmth. You, you you feel like you could follow all that through? Yeah. Okay, it was not was easy to understand, at least intuitively. It was a nice word to look at and hear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. For me, it was very interesting because uh, I also do dream analysis. Yes. Um, the two areas which I felt really um, a different perspective is uh, what is the director? Why did the director bring this role here? Mm -hmm. That was a very interesting way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. And why do you think the scriptwriter has wrote this? Mm -hmm. I use a met the theater <laughs> metaphor e even in so the that was something dream conversation. Very, very <laughs> yes. That gave me a, that that expanded the frame of reference mm -hmm. in dream analysis for me. Oh yeah. And this is who sent the message? <coughs> who do you think what? sent this dream? Pardon? When you said, who do you think sent this dream? What do you think the message from who sent the dream? Yes. Yeah. Another. Yeah. Authorship. Yeah. Yeah, I think I really like that. I, in fact, I wrote that down. If if there's a if the and I like how you said if there is a sender. Yes. yes. Not that there is a sender, yes. but if there is a sender. It's a didactic uh, notion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, um, what is the what are they telling you? What is the intention of telling the story? Yeah. And then, do you welcome this message? Yes. Because I think that that's an important, but do you take the message that is coming? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that really, op you know, I think it really opened the way the interpretation went. Yes. Because I think it just gets the, the the willingness right at the beginning, the openness. To yeah. She in the beginning she was uh, quite much uh, uh, yes. engaged not in dialoguing with within herself, mm. but in telling people. Mm. And I tried to to give her a different direction mm. non-verbally for a moment. She did, but then she she yeah. went back. Mm. But. Uh, Fine. Yeah, you used a gesture. You were saying to come back here, because right? the dialogue was between the two of you. But initially, there was a lot of mm -hmm. including the whole group. Right, was my understanding. Right, and I invited her to dialogue with, with herself with and me. Mm -hmm. to, 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 to remember <laughs> the dialogue model of communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, by for ask, asking questions like, "Do you welcome this me message?" Mm -hmm. This is a question. Is uh, um, focusing on her own dialogue mm. between levels within herself. And so, uh, even uh, if it's very, a mean, it might have been a meaningful piece mm. of work we did right now, for me, 50% of the work is helping her um, to focus on going on dialoguing. It's, it's an example for style, perspectives, ways, moods 
of dialoguing. And this is uh, the mo more important part, even if the content of our dialogue is important to her as well. It's always teaching dialogue. Yeah, I really enjoyed, um, I mean, those questions, um, I, you know, I felt myself go, wow, you know, that's really deepens, mm -hmm. um, I've noticed in terms of, um, it yeah, really deepened the piece of work. One of the things that I really liked was the, the, the layers. Mm -hmm. So how you started with the end mm -hmm. and the atmosphere, mm -hmm. um, and, <coughs> and it seemed like you incorporated different roles, mm -hmm. like private role in terms of private relationship, mm -hmm. uh, and didn't and just acknowledge that mm -hmm. whether that resonated, mm -hmm. um, the professional role, mm -hmm. organisation, so the mm -hmm. business yeah, that yeah. was all there, and then the situations too, like the past present and future, so whether there was any relevance, mm -hmm. and then um, sort of finally coming to the current, and I thought it was really nice um, around what we're all doing in terms of the walls, you know, what's holding it up and whether what, what we're doing, it can be sold or, mm -hmm. um, thought that was good. And I really um, loved the, the Jungian, you know, um, aspects around right. the house and anima, animal, mm. and num what the numbers mean. I felt really curious. I, thought, I must go back and read that book further, you know, around. Yeah, it's not a book. It's it, it's more an attitude to uh, and, and uh, to, to understand the knowledge about the symbolic quality of life. Right. And it's in literature all over. Yeah, I was thinking, and I do have one of Jung's books around dreams. That's oh, what yeah. I was thinking in my mind. I must, ah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, and just, you know, it's just so calm about how you, like I'm sure in your mind you've got a process mm -hmm. of what you're doing. It just comes, it's just so calm mm -hmm. and, uh, and well paced. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And I'll that was the other thing <laughs> was um, I was really interested around um, you bringing in your, yourself mm -hmm. around, you know, am I the driver? Am I doing too much of the driving here? Yeah. I thought that was really, um, really, uh, you know, profound. It's not the right word, but was really effective, <laughs> you know, around. Yeah. 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 I had a question. I was thinking, I had several questions, but I'll just ask two. Um, one was, where do you fit this kind of uh, conversation, uh, uh, educational conversation? Um, in uh, working in organizations within uh, a coaching relationship uh, uh, within the work that you are doing in terms of a uh, development process in the organization with some yeah. of the people who are in charge where exactly do you fit this kind of approach because i kept thinking yeah. all the time you, you know you think out of the setting Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I was thinking That's a, about an you know, my question. work organization and, and yeah. where something like that uh, could fit or could fit or yeah, would I, be acceptable. I usually it would just be acceptable in coaching, not in other settings yeah. of organizational yeah, yeah, work. And uh, our main business is training to train professionals mm -hmm. of all kind, mm -hmm. and so we use it as a training tool in dial for dialoguing. Even if people are not interested to do dream work themselves, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's it's just a one mean to understand what the dialogue model means mm -hmm. and finding uh, a dialogue attitude mm -hmm. and a readiness to to deal with a multi layered mm -hmm. understanding and meaning making, not transferring the setting or the approach directly. Some do, if, and mostly in coaching. Mm -hmm. But mostly not. Mm -hmm. okay. And I tell people also, 
I, certainly, uh, I, I, the professionals who are trained with us, some of them are managers. Mm-hmm. Uh, cannot exactly. do in a meeting, so now let's do dream work, you understand. <laughs> but sometimes, if they adopt the attitude to understand what the other person, how the person is interpreting, for example, the last meeting, you could uh, look at it from the perspective, if it were a dream, because this person made something out of it, and then you get some understanding what that might mean, uh, what uh, his approach to reality mean, and then react to, uh, you can, on this surreal level, you can get ideas, what can I do to satisfy this person, that she doesn't stick, or he doesn't stick to some kind of limited interpretation of the last meeting, like somebody can stick to a limited interpretation of his dreams. Sylvia, I have been lucky enough to, once or twice, with organizational work, when there's been a residential, mm-hmm. to do social dreaming. Mm-hmm. So, looking at the, uh, and, and with a lot of explanation of maybe in the dreams people have at the night, we feed back in in the morning, mm-hmm. dreams, there may be something in the collective. Mm-hmm. But we also work the dreams like with the image work yesterday and the day before. Mm-hmm. So somebody reports their dream and somebody else reports what they mm-hmm. see or what comes up for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you just build. Yeah. And it may say something about the organization. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I was thinking on two mm-hmm. levels and then I have, uh, this is a comment and then I yeah. have uh, another question. Um, one of the things that uh, what has happened to me one time is to get into an organization where uh, the manager was uh, uh, very interested in psychology, psychotherapy Mm -hmm. he had been into psychotherapy himself, etc. And the result was because then I I had had been called in to have a look at the processes and understand what was going on because some of the trainers felt it was quite crazy what was going on. And one of the problem was, one of the issues was that the manager had absorbed, you know, a lot of a lot of things and interpretation. The result Mm. was that, you know, he gave uh, he he tend he tended to do mind fucking. Uh, and and uh, and he's. Uh, it was just before Christmas. I remember this very vividly uh-huh. because he uh, wanted one of the trainers to announce to all his uh, management that their Christmas present was going to be a you know a calligraphic mm-hmm. interpretation of their personality. Mm-hmm. Oh. So I thought this was awful. <laughs> you know, in terms of, and and he was a sort of coming in all the time when things were being done with his interpretations so that people of course were very guarded and it it disturbed very much the professional relationship. He he messed up uneducated passions uh, in other fields into his organizational roles. Exactly, exactly. And and this was creating very unhealthy situations in the organization and it was very hard to stop him as a matter of fact. You know, even with a clear, you know, feedback of right. what was going on, etc. And we, what did you do? To, to well, I worked with the management, with the group of the management for some time. Yes. Uh, in terms of developing some kind of group that could contrast, <laughs> in a way, this kind of approach. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and in, within eight or nine months, this happened that they stopped him uh, 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 when uh, he okay. was giving some yep. kind of interpretation. But it took time, and in the meantime, it was quite heavy. I mean, the atmosphere was quite heavy. That's, a, that's an the, interesting indirect intervention. Yeah. You did a cultural intervention. Yes. That the culture could uh, heal itself. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was the only Wonderful. thing uh, that could have been done in that Wonderful. situation because yes. it was quite tough. He stopped coming to the training. Yeah, maybe okay. m- might not <laughs> but have liked it. You are a psychologist. <laughs> Psychologists are not interested in all of that wonderful stuff I'm interested in. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so I, I that, that's what I, that's why I was thinking. Yeah, you know, the the, right. the the cautions in, in right. something like that. It, 
in and sometimes it's a tragedy if they invite a union psychologist who says, oh, how wonderful that organizations are interested in symbols. <laughs> and they, they, they infect them with worlds and meanings and exactly, uh, exactly. that are totally out of their yeah, yeah, me- reasonable yeah, yeah. reality. And, and, the, and they mix up foreground and background. Exactly. Th- things of this kind might be in the background, but <laughs> should not be the play in the foreground. And they break all boundaries also with yes. the personnel. And the yeah. personnel is there to work, is not yeah. being interpreted uh, yeah, yeah. about the, yeah. the thing. Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. another, so this this is one okay. thing. Then the, the other thing that I found very, very interesting in uh, your dealing with uh, her dream yes. um, was uh, the moving all the time from one level to the other. Yes. Uh, content process symbols, content process of yes. life symbols. Yes. I thought that was extremely interesting, uh, mm-hmm. also in terms of a kind of uh, mental gymnastics for her, mm-hmm. because I thought that while you were doing this, in a way it helped her to maintain her own space mm-hmm. uh, and uh, maintain a kind of equal relationship, mm-hmm. because she had the possibility to relate to her own things mm-hmm. uh, and use her own tools and strategies w- mm-hmm. without being invaded. Yeah. W- which was one of the issues that uh, she, yeah. she, she, she brought, you know, in, yeah. in some, uh, some kind of clear direction that she wanted to give to situations. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was extremely interesting, the, mm-hmm. the, the moving from one layer to the other. Yeah. Uh, you would not go into... Uh, that's my third and last question. Would you go or not go into maybe some of the meanings connected with experience here a little bit more in a situation like that, if it were a group of... Uh, if, if she would be interested in more, but the, <clears throat> the way she, she, she offered an understanding how this dream is related to her processes here have been enough. Okay. I, I didn't have any idea... Mm-hmm. What should be more there? Mm. Did you have an, uh, a feeling feeling of there could be more? I didn't have. <laughs> I had my own associations with all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. If 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 there is a different uh, conversation partner, there different realities come in, and yes. they may make sense as well. But it's not was not in our relationship world, in our shared reality. Mm-hmm. So, Um, <clears throat> the example Sylvie shared, you said that was an indirect approach yes. uh, of the eight to nine months. Not confronting a person, mm. but uh, thinking about how to build up uh, a context culture that could deal with yeah. that person. Yeah. So in this context, an indirect approach would be more appropriate? I don't know, but she, some, she, it must have been some good reasons that she... No, that, no, I'm just wondering that she did that more complicated yeah. effort. Maybe somehow she knew that if you would directly confront him, she will be caught in a fight or something like that. And it's and it's systemic because mm. she is not thinking. Also, it's a, a behavioral problem on and role contacting and all that from this person. Uh, it's still. A culture question that see, they do not give him relevant invitations into a different reality. Mm-hmm. And so she may strengthen the system to do that. And then uh, the uh, struggling <coughs> on, the, on the right roles, levels, cultures is being done between them. What is the natural place? Also, all I heard as well, the, uh, the similar thing that occurred to me, yes. was um, your very clear understanding of how you were part, kind of, it was a co-creating yeah. thing, and therefore when you thought there might be a danger of imbalance, or right. you said, and you know, am I driving too much? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you made it explicit. Right. And what I heard implicit in your choice of intervention was mm-hmm. an understanding that it's your expertise and his, you know, that needed not to 
that was just mm -hmm. a small right. possibility. Right. So that's this idea of the experience of understanding your own place in the stories that mm -hmm. in, and the realities you're trying to open up. Yeah. I thought it was very clear, interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Is there a, um, is there um, anything that would be additional or different for dreams that are recurring? So that? Recurring that come okay. again and again, no. or a similar theme with oh, yeah. slight differences that come again and again. Oh, the whole dream issue is a, is a seminar for itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only could give you one example and yeah. uh, relate to some aspects I do. Certainly, there are many, many points, in it. and I love to do dream work because it's a um, it's a wonderful way to make understand meaningful work with an unconstructivist perspective. And if if I would keep something over the, when I grow older as my work, then I would be I would just do dream seminars. I uh, first of all process what uh, resonated looking this piece it, it, uh, I am working in confrontation mm -hmm. and I see good uh, examples mm -hmm. and what catch my attention is probably an option for my trials that uh, I observe at the beginning when you did the confrontations uh, it was you don't give too much space you just uh, go through again the communication yes. and then at the end when I feel uh, uh, very more calm, yes. briefly, in brief, you give more time. Mm -hmm. So it uh, think, uh, give me the option to dose the time uh, uh, after the confrontation, yes. how to deal with this. Right. And, uh, That's a very important point because people often think they should have a lot of time to work towards the confrontation instead of just doing something experimentally and then takes the time to understand what happens. Mm -hmm. And another point is uh, I observe uh, many changes of um, levels, mm -hmm. spotlights, deeper. Mm -hmm. uh, Time work. in a subject right. that you don't take too much uh, time in one level or one. You right. change very, right. very often right. the, the perspectives, the views. Yes. And so it's a way to, uh, to make it holistic mm -hmm. and, and uh, to draw meaning not from just working through one channel, mm -hmm. but to, you, to, to make a mosaic picture. Mm -hmm. But also keeping, sorry. I was just thinking it helps to keep mm -hmm. the person engaged themselves, not too safe in getting yeah, stuck. And, and not too much hypnotized mm -hmm. within oh, one channel yeah. of reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And then, um, I think that this is it. Okay, and uh, in my personal process, I, I feel that. Um, a connections uh, at such point uh, with uh, Ray, uh, and I have an insight mm -hmm. because uh, when uh, Ray start briefly too fast, mm -hmm. uh, my shoulders do that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm working uh, also my body perception during the coaching process in order to see uh, if uh, I can get some useful information about that. Yes. Yeah. That's my I did, yeah, so no, that's your, mm. that's the way you orient yourself. Yeah. So it, it's, mm. it's over determined. Mm -hmm. I, I took, I take other parts to orient myself. You take these parts. As long we are coming to, to, uh, similar essentials, that's just fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. Thank you.